Hey, what's up? This is Jared with the Daily App Show. We're brought to you by GoDaddy.com. When you check out over at GoDaddy, use these coupon codes and it'll help you save a little bit of money on your order. So today we're going to take a look at an application called Sync that lets you sync your photos from your Mac to your iPhone. So Sync, which is spelt C-I-N-Q, uh, is an application for your phone but also an application that runs on your Mac and it's a free download for the application that's on your Mac um, it runs in your menu bar and what it allows you to do is connect to your photo library whether it's your iPhoto library or just a folder that you've set up um, with photos on your computer so you can see here that I'm logged in you create a free account and then it's connected to my home Mac I also have a uh, folder on here where I can save photos into the application as well. So let's click on Home Mac, and now we're looking at the photos that are inside of my uh, iPhoto library. So I've got some random photos, um, stuff. Here's my, my honeymoon a little over a year and a half ago. Um, so we've got uh, pictures and stuff in here um, that I can view. and tons of photos there's a couple hundred photos in here and um, I wouldn't want to put all these on my uh, you know on my iPhone um, but I can view them all now because we're synced so if I click on this uh, image here it's gonna load it it's pulling it from my laptop and bringing it right into the application and of course you're gonna have to have an internet connection for this to work the best um, and then you tap on an image and it should load up that image so you have to make sure that your computer is not asleep because if your computer is asleep then the image is not going to show up and I think that's what my problem is right now so uh, you have to make sure that your computer stays awake through the entire process of course um, so that you can view your images so there we go I got it uh, so we've got an image here of uh, the Queen Mary which is actually pulling from my computer and I could do a couple of things from here. I could twit pick this, send it to Facebook. So this makes it nice when you're out and about and you're thinking, oh man, I want to send that photo over to somebody. Because um, obviously we could stay so connected through our iPhones. Um, now you can access all those images that are on your computer. As long as you have some sort of an internet connection for your phone, you're going to be able to connect to those images back on your computer. So I could twit pick that out, send it to Facebook. I can also save it to the sync application or save it to my iPhone if I wanted to and then I can you know email it or uh, send it in a, uh, a text message or something like that many things I could do I could use the arrow to just browse through pictures of course I could click and drag just like always um, go back and view different folders these are basically the folders just like in iPhoto so what's really cool is that if I set up things in categories and everything in iPhoto then they're going to show up on uh, this application. This is cool for someone like me who's a photographer who wants to have photos on his iPhone or the ability to have photos on his iPhone to show people. Um, you know, maybe if somebody, uh, I meet somebody and they say, oh, let me see some of your work. Um, rather than having all of that stuff on my iPhone, I can just load it up um, very specifically, show them the photos that they might be more interested in um, using this app. So you can also take pictures using this app and save those pictures to sync and then view those pictures. Um, so they're saved in here. It also saves that photo um, in your uh, camera roll as well or your, you know, in your iPhone. So you've got that. And then another cool thing is the ability to connect to Facebook, web media here. So we can, can connect to Facebook. We can go and view any of our friends that are on Facebook. So I've got view all my friends they're sorted by last name so let's go uh, with a lot of long friends list it does take a second for it to populate and update those avatar images so let's click on my name here and it's loading all of my albums my photo albums off of uh, my iPhone so lots of images in here um, my photo uh, images from Facebook and I can click on an image and if I want to, I can send it to TwitPic, I could send it to Facebook, 
or I could save it to the Sync app or save it on my iPhone. So this application really makes it easy for you to have all of your media available on your iPhone. Obviously, you know, we're limited to, um, you know, 32 gigabytes or whatever. You've got a lot of music and stuff on there. You don't have a lot of room left over for pictures. Um, so this makes it easy for you to get those pictures rather than saving them all on your iPhone. Um, obviously it's you know much easier to organize them on your computer and then use something like this to get them over to your iPhone only when you need them not actually taking up storage space. So really cool application here called Sync. I recommend that you check it out. Uh, give it a download, give it a try, set up an account and have all of your pictures available all the time. So hey we're, we're gonna take off now because we've looked at this great app and next time we are going to look at some cool apps as well so make sure that you stick around come back check out our website dailyappshow.com go on iTunes do a search for daily app show and check us out there as well take care and we'll see you next time